Is there any way to get sound off your computer? Oh, it's this thing. I guess I could turn the volume off. It requires like running another audio cable in the bed. Where yeah, or you turn the volume up. Hold the microphone to the speakers. <laughs> I, I actually don't know where the speakers are on this. <laughs> I'll turn the volume up either when you get to the checkpoint or Rich. die. <laughs> Wait, can you sing the music? Can you just sing with a cold? Sure, why not? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not doing, I can't even you're sing. I'm not running across. You're a jerk. I just thought I'd ask. Oh, oh. oh. don't, don't, don't. Oh. all right. That was yeah, the split on. screen you threw me off. Everyone else want to get up here? Anybody? Come on. Somebody. I have a hard copy for yeah. anybody that doesn't yeah. want to do it on the screen. Finally, That's a little louder. Yeah, there we go. You compose music yourself? Yeah. Oh, sounds pretty good. Thank you. I can't hear it. I can't hear it. Where's the controls? I guess I can Sorry. turn this all the way to max. Oh, wait, no. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> there we go. There we go. How long did it take you to make the actual music? Um, a song could be anywhere from like, depending on how lazy I am. <laughs> Some songs I could write in like three days. The, the short songs, obviously, I could do in, like in a day or like in a few, an hour or so. It just depends on, you know, you know, is this working? You know, do I need to ch change this to the sound right and what have you? Why does the title screen song not move? What's that? The song the title screen doesn't move. Uh, design choice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what kind of program do you use to make 8 bit music like that? Um, well, the music in the game is run through an actual music engine, which writes numbers to the sound registers, which produces the sound, of course. Um, I could actually show you what that looks like if you want in a moment here. Two words, but, um, music tracking. Or I could actually do like mini, like how the music was done demo in a moment here. Sure. Show you how that was. Oh, there you go. Doesn't help oh. much. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Gotta be careful. Think about the sound. Yeah, you definitely gotta get used to that uh, screen change. Yeah, short yeah. tap for short jump. Yeah, one thing I wish is that the screen could change even faster, but it, you have to space things out because you only get so many cycles per seconds. So it's spaced out, I think, over 12 frames to draw everything and load everything you need. Did you set up to make a hard game, or...? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, good. It was just, remember, like, incidentally hard. Remember, he, <laughs> remember you built it off of that guy with the, uh, I want to be that guy. Yeah. Okay, you know, the game that kills you within three seconds. I should say hard, but fair. Yeah, this is like the fair Sir. edition. Yes. Like, I have things like the, like the gray block fly sideways and kill you for no reason. Oh, but have the snail with a gun on it. With a machine gun well, on it. <laughs> well, it's obvious he has a gun, so there you go. He's going to use it. Yeah, it isn't like, I want these guy with like the wall. The yeah. freaking the wall. Game. Bam! Yeah. New this flat. That was evil. I, I don't want to be that evil. I have that whole entire sequence memorized. Just because. Like, it pounded into my brain. Yeah, yeah. But I, I mean, I wanted to use just that mini reference, and I, yeah, I, again, I made sure he was cool. But, but I wanted, didn't want to use apples. I just like the idea of lemons they're, they're, and limes. They're called delicious fruit. They're actually, yeah. I think, supposed to be cherries. Yeah. And, and plus it would be a way to differentiate, like, yellow lemons would drop and green limes would fly up. Ah. Even though limes are only ever used on two screens in the whole game. 
Well, I guess technically three if you count one of the extras. It really doesn't help that much to go, to be honest. Uh, yeah, it does. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, no, it does. Yeah, man, man, the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so I gotta disagree with you on that one, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 Give it what you gotta do. No, I know go, what you need to do. No! Go! 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 Show us the uh, speed See level. what we mean? The oh, the SCC level? Uh, yeah. The way you played that was pretty Somebody actually beat it, though, at the speed level competition. Two? Yeah. The second yeah. guy got it? Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, is there a reason why you decided on respawning enemies, like every screen? It's just... If I, it's a memory restriction. You only get two kilo, well, not even two kilobytes. You get more like, uh, what is it? You get like one and a half kilobytes of memory for the Nintendo. It's technically two, but um, point, or point two five is allocated to what's known as the stack, and another um, of is allocated to sprites. Um, of course, if I want a game without sprites, then, but then again, it would be kind of hard to do just backgrounds. <laughs> so, if I wanted to have like enemy parties, for instance, it would there would just not be enough memory to do that. Use your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can, but it's not going to change what it is. <laughs> Drop straight down, drop straight down. No, jump! Drop jump! Down. Jump! Oh. Jump! No, I don't know who to drop straight down. Jump! Jump straight down. No! Yay! Okay, that works. Oh. Okay. He's got one, two, go. Oh, what? Does it turn around if I jump past it? Yeah. Yes. Think, but oh. Just play it or shoot. Or you can just run really fast and jump away. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's an exercise. Yeah. Yeah. Were there any uh, tools and tools uh, specific to help with the creation of this? Um, yeah, there's a graphics tool. Because, um, do you mind if I pause it for a moment? Alright. Because let me show you something here in the emulator. This particular emulator is FCE Ultra X, which has some uh, little things built into it. This is uh, all the graphics in the game at any given point. Um, they're, they're in a different palette, of course. Let me turn this to something a little more visible. Like, uh, and the way it's done on the NES is. There's, there are 8 by 8 pixel tiles all arranged to make an image. Um, like you can see like these are partial tiles of the shooting animation, for instance. Like some of these are like all split up. Um, but, and it's the same case for the background, of course, too. Um, and yeah, there are tools which can help you, um, uh, say, like, get, get the necessary... Um, um, Corresponding into memory, if you will, um, and then just help you arrange these a lot more easily. Because yeah, looking at what what you can do now and what they would have back then, it would just kind of blows my mind, like how they would actually have done it back then. <laughs> looking at just ones and zeros instead of pixels. Very um, very carefully. Yeah, and like other things here um, in the emulator, like you have a text editor if you want to, like this is what the memory looks like um, while a game is going on. Like you can see some stuff is changing. Um, like this first is called, it's called zero page, um, scroll down, 100 is the stack. Um, the sprites can technically be um, anything from 200 to 700, but I use 400 in my case. 200 is the music, like you can see lots of that's being updated because the music's kind of going. 300 is your enemy memory. Um, I gotta actually show you this real quick. Um, like, what do we have here? I think this, this here is hit points. 
Like the five is for this ball over here, and I think the other one is. Or did you shoot that one a couple times? Yeah. Yeah. So that one, uh -huh. I can have one hit left. <laughs> so, Holy crap. like, like other things are like your, yeah, like yeah. your positioning, um, and like there's extra ones here too. But, and like there's obviously no enemies, so nothing floated into memory right there. Um, 400 is the sprites. Um, that's not being updated because the game is paused. 500 is the actual room data. Like, uh, these ones correspond to uh, solid tiles, the zeros are uh, empty t or uh, not solid tiles. Um, and then the twos are the, the spikes, like you see these four spikes, and there's four twos up there. Uh, the other two memories are not actually used while the game is being played, they're used while the room is loaded. But actually, I kind of take it back a little bit, it is, is used like uh, backup data, like when you get an item, save it has to back up that you know you have the item and so if you die you still have the item but yeah that's uh pretty much it for uh like tools with the emulator uh, yeah so is it easier to make like you made the game you did it like on like a, Oops, a grid kind of pattern like each screen is its own thing is it easier to do that than do like a completely flowing level like in like mario a scrolling instance? level uh yeah definitely mm -hmm. the scrolling adds another layer of complexity to the nes Oh, yeah. um, you have to deal with what's called the attribute table, which tells like how every part of the background is colored. Like, because you know we have the brown blocks here, and then the kind of yellowish, greenish uh, for the background. And then up top there, that's another part of the background which has a uh, white, white, red, and blue. Um, and I need to update that every like while it's scrolling is a pain. <laughs> Um, and plus you have to also account for writing to the background because, you know, when you scroll, a new background is being written. And you can, you can only do so much um, in one frame of updating graphics before, they, before glitches start to happen. Um, I'm trying to think of a game which has problems like that. I know in Ninja Turtles, the first one during the swimming levels, you can sometimes see the background flip out. Yes. Yeah. Um, so that's one example of, I think they're just doing too much to update, or, to, or the NES can't keep up with it, if you will. Yeah. Other things like uh, having to update the camera and the character position is, is, can be tricky. I've seen methods of how to do it and I kind of get how to do it, but I, don't, I wasn't ready to try that in addition to all this. Because this is the first time I've made a, a 2D game like this. seem to think segment two is easier than segment one. I don't know. These are gonna fall, aren't they? They're probably gonna melt. Maybe. Like, oh, oh, they look like ice. Oh! oh. oh. It's funny you mentioned that. I, I had planned ice at one point, but I couldn't think of a good way to do it, so that's the only reason why there's no ice in the game. Oh, oh my God. But if I do another one, there will be ice. I will find out how to do it. Uh, well, since you were mentioned, uh, you could figure out, uh, is there anything else that you, uh, like, held back on because... Uh, um, yeah, it, it kind of ties into... Um, oh, I could showcase one of the old ROMs. I had forgotten about this. Would be how water works. I was going to originally have it kind of like uh, Mario swimming. Really? But uh, getting, like, a, kind of a physics for that was complicated. So I was like, well, let's just take the easy way. I'm just having to jump really high. So I said I had like a different read for the jumping 